Hey y'all, it's Stacy. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are making a family recipe. This is my wife's great grandfather's recipe for cornbread. His name was Elmer Willis and he came from Mellow Valley, Alabama. So I can assure you it doesn't get much more Southern than this. To start, I've got one large egg that I'm gonna put in my bowl here and I'm gonna add a heaping tablespoon of mayonnaise. What we're gonna do is kind of stir these two together. What I did before is I took an eight inch skillet and I added about two teaspoons of vegetable oil. You could also use vegetable shortening. And I put it in, this, in the oven preheated to 425 degrees. That is gonna heat that skillet super hot so that we get that dark golden brown crispy crust that we want on cornbread. Now I will say, a lot of fancy ovens these days preheat really quickly and it doesn't give that skillet time to heat. So if you're fortunate enough to have an oven that preheats quickly, you might wanna give that an extra five minutes in there just to make sure that it's super hot when we add our batter in. All right, now that that's combined, I'm adding two cups of self-rising cornmeal. Now in the grocery store, you're gonna see three different things with cornmeal. You're gonna see plain cornmeal, you're gonna see cornmeal mix, which has flour added, and you're gonna see self-rising cornmeal, which is just the cornmeal and some leavening. Make sure that you're grabbing the right thing. To this, I'm adding a tablespoon of sugar. I know what you're saying, sugar doesn't go in cornbread. I told you Elmer Wheelis was as Southern as they come. This is not a sweet cornbread. It doesn't have a sweet flavor. But what the sugar does is it's gonna help this toast up beautifully brown on top, and it just kind of accents the flavor of the corn, which already has some sugar in it. I'm adding one cup of buttermilk and a half a cup of water. Now this is one of those recipes where I can't tell you why we add water. Elmer added water, so we add water. And it produces a delicious cornbread. Sometimes we just don't ask questions. We just do as we're told. I'm just gonna whisk this all together. Just stir it real good till we get the lumps out. And of course, if you're super scared of the sugar, you can just leave it out. But I promise it's better with it. All right, I've got my skillet preheated in my oven here. So I'm gonna grab that out. Being super careful because it is 425 degrees of hot. And I'm just gonna gently rotate this so that we get that oil on the edges there. Now the goal here is to hear that sizzle when this pours in. And just very carefully add that right in. This is gonna go back in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. Now I've got one already done in here I wanna show you. If by some chance you don't get that beautiful golden crust, which sometimes happens, what you can do is turn the broiler on for just a few minutes just to get that nice golden crust on the top. Once this is cooled in the pan for about five minutes then you can flip it out or shove a butter knife in there, wedge it up so that it doesn't get soggy on the bottom sitting next to that pan. Folks, you can find this full recipe by heading over to the website at southernbite.com. Just tap the Simply Southern TV section right up in the menu bar. Y'all enjoy. Well, if you're wondering what old Elmer looked like, Stacy's posted a picture of him on southernbite.com and you can find it just by searching for Elmer's cornbread. Yes, it says that he was a farmer and Baptist preacher. In addition to being Stacy's wife's great grandfather, Elmer and his wife raised nine youngins. Now that's a country word for kids for y'all that ain't from around here. Well, Mary, it's been a lot of fun, but it's time for us to skedaddle. That's another country word for we gotta go. Y'all come on back next time and we'll see how a central Alabama woman's working to keep the memories of fallen soldiers alive. And you'll meet the first finalist in our annual profile of Alabama's outstanding young farm families. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. We'll see you next week. Simply Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative and these sponsors.